everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. Today we will be making one of my favorite cocktails using soju. It's a lemon drop cocktail. Soju, if you've never heard of it before, is Korea's national beverage for adults. It's a distilled spirit usually made with grains and um, it is far less in alcohol content compared to your vodka or gin. Vodka and gin are usually around 80% proof. Soju tends to be anywhere between 15 to 18, 19% proof. So um, it is far less in alcohol content and it also has a very smooth and clean finish. If you've been to a Korean supermarket and you go to the soju section, there's gonna be so many choices. My favorite bottle is Chamisu Fresh. It just has that extra layer of a clean aftertaste. So that's my choice, but certainly you could buy whatever bottle you fancy. There's also soju that comes pre-mixed with flavorings. You could certainly try those. My personal preference is to stick with non-flavored soju. So today's recipe, we're gonna be making lemon drop cocktail using soju. So let's get started. So before we start, take your martini glass and just put a few cubes of ice, just a few, four or five, not much, and then we're gonna add some water. And we do this to chill our martini glass. It's critical to chill your martini glass. You know, I like to make my cocktail so that it is really minimal amount of work. I really don't like to fuss around with my cocktails because I'm a mom of three and I just don't have time and I really don't care for it if, I, if I'm making my cocktails at home. If I want a fancy, fancy, smancy cocktail, I'll just go to a fancy, smancy bar. But at home, I like to make my cocktail so that it's quick and when I need it, it is ready, okay? Because mom of three or whether you're a mom of one or three or a mom of pets or mom of adult children, we all could use a cocktail or two. So. This is my recipe that I will put together with you so that it's quick and easy. So first, chill your glass with some ice cubes and some water. Take your mixer shaker and we're gonna add three shots of soju in here. So this is, each shot is about an ounce and a half. And you know, if you wanna add less, it's up to you. If you wanna add more, certainly that's up to you too as well. So this is three shots of soju and the other ingredient to add is fresh lemon juice and the way I like to squeeze my lemon juice is you know certainly you could cut it and squeeze it and get all the juices all over your hands and then you know our hands are you know sort of so abused especially for moms because we're always washing our hands I like using the lemon squeezer I take I cut the lemon into cubes or small sizes with the citrus part facing down I just squeeze into a container like so. And this gadget's great because it catches all the seeds so you don't have to, you know, after you squeeze your lemon, you go in there and fish out your lemon seeds. You know, there's no fun in that. So, so this is about an ounce and a half of fresh squeezed lemon juice. So please, please make sure to use fresh lemon juice. None of those like pre-mixed bottle kind of stuff. Let's pour it in here. And then our other ingredients. So if you like your cocktail super sweet, please add more. I tend to like my cocktail so that it's just, just slightly sweet enough so that it rounds out the taste of alcohol. So I'm gonna add an ounce and a half of simple syrup. And you know, if you wanna add less, by all means you could add less and if you wanna use different sweetener like agave, you could use that too, but you know, I'm using simple syrup because it just mixes really nice. And then we're gonna add a few drops of ice cubes. So that's about like five or six ice cubes and some bitters. So now, um, if you don't like the taste of bitters, don't add it. I just like to just literally add one dash, that's it. Just one dash like so, one dash. It's literally one drop or maybe two drops at most. And I will have links to all the bar gadgets that I'm using today in addition to the bitters 
on the description box below with links that you could um, purchase on Amazon.com and have them conveniently delivered to your house or certainly you could look up those items and go to your local bar supply store and purchase these items. Now I'm going to take our other cocktail shaker and make sure to tap it and then we shake. With two hands and shake it for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna take our chilled martini glass and just throw out the water and the ice cubes and it is ready. So you'll notice that when you shake your cocktails, the top is stuck and it's hard to kind of take it out unless you have like major muscles, which I don't. So what I do is I just tap, I hold the top and I just tap it and see it just releases it. So we're gonna put this to the side and then before we pour it into our martini glass, taste it. Maybe you want to add more simple syrup or maybe you wanna water it down a little cause it's a little too strong. You know, so when you make cocktails, taste it and make it the way you like it. Just because someone else likes it, that doesn't mean you have to. So take your straw and grab a little and then we're gonna just taste. Oh, this is so good. It has like the perfect amount of tart taste from the fresh lemon juice. And then the sweetness is so subtle. It's just, an, it's just a nice background taste of the sweetness. And the soju is so clean tasting that there's no harsh like, oh good goodness, I just got a gulp of alcohol. So there's none of that. So I'm gonna take my strainer and then I'm gonna take my mesh strainer and I'm just gonna pour our cocktail in here. Like so, oh, that looks so good. Just straight to the top. I poured a little too much, but when you make your cocktails at home, the fun part is if you kind of made a little too much and if you lift it and it's gonna spill, you just lean down and just take a sip. Mm. Oh, that is so refreshing. That is super, super yum. Now. You could, if you want, to put a sugar rim around the martini glass. And if you do want to do that, make sure you do it before you pour your cocktail, obviously. For me, as you may already know from my other videos, I tend to not like things to be overly sweet, so I'm not putting that extra sugar around the rim. You can, but I'm not going to because, you know, why not save some calories? You don't have to do this, but I like to. Take your lemon, find a clean surface, take your vegetable peeler, find an angle, and then just, you know, instead of pulling it straight, just lightly zigzag sideways, and you'll notice that you'll be able to sort of get a thin layer of the citrus skin without getting much of the white part of the skin, because the white part of the skin is very bitter. And it's actually, just the yellow part and you'll notice that on the interior there's almost no white and that's what we want. So you just take your citrus skin. Oh, you should smell this. It smells so fragrant and it just like, it just has that perfect refreshing smell just that just wakes up your brain, I think. And then just twist it on top like so and then just go around the rim And then I also like to just kind of touch the base, the stem of the cocktail glass. Before you take your first sip of cocktail, you want to just get a nice sniff of that refreshing um, citrus smell from the lemon. So just twist it like so, and then just drop it in here. And voila, your cocktail's ready. This is quite impressive, but it's really simple to make. And let me just have a taste for you, just to make sure it's good. But I just wanna say, you have to be 21 and older to consume and purchase alcohol in the States. And please make sure to drink responsibly. What's the point of drinking if you're gonna get hammered and be miserable? I say just drink enough to feel happy and just to relax, right? So let's have a taste. Mm. This is so yummy because it's not that sweet at all. It's just, you almost can't taste the sweetness, which I love in cocktails. 
Now, if you love the taste of sweetness, please do add more simple syrup. And soju is so clean tasting that you can't even taste the alcohol. It's just a refreshing taste of the fresh lemon juice with just the perfect amount of coldness and alcohol and just a simple background taste of the sugar. I think this would be a fun cocktail to make all throughout summer. And soju is typically consumed neat. So if you haven't seen my other video on soju and, and how it's traditionally consumed, make sure to check out that video. And I share a tip in there on sort of how to make your soju even more refreshing. And if you pull that trick out in front of your friends, I guarantee you that they'll be very, very impressed with you. I hope you try this at home because this is one of the super, super easy cocktails to make. And all you need is your soju, simple syrup, and just a one, two drops of bitters. And if you don't want to add this, you don't have to. It's not going to make or break your cocktail. And fresh lemon juice. So I hope you try this at home. And if you enjoyed watching this video, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up. So make sure to please click on that thumbs up icon below the video box. And please do share this video with anyone that loves lemon drops and or that loves soju or anyone that just you know, needs a quick cocktail recipe to make at home. And I hope you get to enjoy this with your family and friends and have a great summer cocktail time. And I would love to connect with you again. So I upload new videos every Thursday and I would love to continue making more cocktails together, especially soju cocktails and make Korean food. And yes, my Korean recipes are super easy to follow because I provide written instructions on how to follow the recipes and also with a detailed list of all the ingredients that have been tested before with precise measurements so that you can replicate it at home instead of just watching food video recipes and just kind of wonder, huh? So I would love to connect with you every Thursday. So make sure to click on that subscribe button which is below the video box and hope to see you soon and until next time happy lemon drop cocktail time cheers